People cannot create All in store what is good All the world be great Don't let the fear steal your peace, no Don't let the fear steal your peace Hi, Christina Peek is here again, and I thought it would be worth making a quick video to explain the cowl hack for the Cambria top. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but there's just a couple things that, um, that if I can tell you, you don't have to make the same mistakes that I invariably make. This is my cowl top. Black, yes, doesn't um, film very well, but there you are. So... What it is, is take the regular top and then you download the cowl piece. And I'm gonna show you the whole pattern because um, it is a very standard cowl piece. This is what it looks like. Um, the fold will go uh, at the center front neck. The, um, there's kind of, this is kind of where the shoulder is. And then the seam goes in the middle of the back. It's very, it's very similar shape. The only thing that varies is basically how long this is because that's how big your opening is. Some um, cowl necks go for a deep scoop neck. Uh, this one is kind of in the middle, so the lower crew neck is, is what I found matches up on it a little bit better. And the other thing is basically um, kind of this angle of this back seam and then how high this goes. Um, you do two of these on the fold, so that's why it ends up taking so much fabric because um, and you can see how tall it is and then you have to do that twice. Um, so it ends up, it can take, you know, some cows can take almost another whole yard. Um, I think you could probably do this in an additional half yard. I, um, I got two yards of this fabric. Now, granted, I got it from G Street, and they're not stingy. Um, but, and I didn't have too, too much extra with two, um, two yards. So um, you will need a little extra fabric for it. So when you have this cowl, oh, and by the way, if you want... Um, the Laundry Day Tea from um, Love Notions has a cowl pattern as well that's the same shape, but it's just a lot bigger. Um, and it does require a whole yard, but you could um, try it as well, although it's meant to go on a deeper scoop. So you might have to cut out that neckline and trace the neckline on that. But this one you don't have to. Okay, so you have this. I picked what size here based on what size of the neck that I have, which makes sense. I'm not gonna show you the whole pattern piece. Mine's a little bit marked up, cause, you know, I'm not gonna make things as written. But it's a standard deck, so I don't think I'm giving away anything here. Anyway, so you see, um, I have a low crew, and then I kinda like, I was doing a little bit of experimentation, but I drew in, um, the seam lines are 3 eighths of an inch. Um, so, and then I found that, you know, one of these lines on here is 3 eighths. I think it's that dotted one. And so then I kind of just walked it along the side and then walked it along the back, taking out the um, seam allowances on both shoulders. And I discovered that it was um, just right for the low crew neck. So that works fine. So the other thing, um, and, if, and if it doesn't work out or if you want like a bigger one or something else, um, all you'd have to do is take the neckline from the shirt that it originally belongs to and put it on there. A third option is to literally like take the length of the opening at the seam line and make a rectangle. Make a rectangle. So say, say, you know, you've got your neck and consider, you know, here's the shoulder, right? So you got the back and you got the front and you're gonna have a little less in the back. Measure that around and then you're gonna take a rectangle. Okay, and so then the height is how big you want this thing. So nine inches isn't crazy. So like 18 inches, you know, cause this is where it would be folded over. And plus three quarters of an inch, right? Cause you have three eighths plus three eighths is three quarters. And then this distance here is around, so this measurement, um, plus three quarters. So it's just say like 23 or something like that, plus three quarters, okay? And um, so that does it with a fold on the top. You otherwise could cut two, depending on how much of your fabric you have left. And this height is like totally dependent on you. But I do like that shape cow a little bit better because it, it still folds out, 
but it um, it isn't, I don't know, I just think it looks better on. It's a little more tidy. So the other problem is the neckband. You're supposed to sew it on with the seam on the outside because when you wear it, it pulls like, it goes like this and you're really likely to see it um, if you put the seam on the inside like you normally would. So what you do is you put it on the outside because when you're wearing it, the cowl covers it. So um, another thing is that um, I put clear elastic in the shoulder seams. You also may need something across the back here, um, which I didn't do, because the cowl is quite heavy. It's quite a bit of fabric. So um, I'm probably just going to go ahead and, and put some, you know, a little bit of bias tape around here just to support it um, or something. Or maybe I'll just leave it because it's so soft and so comfortable. Anyway, contact me if you have any questions, and I have a blog post with um, the same information if that is easier to deal with. Thanks. People can not create Only destroy what is good I want the world to be great Don't let the fear steal your peace, no Don't let the fear steal your peace